Michelle Alexander was 10 years old when the abuse began. Today, after overcoming years of associated challenges, she is now a business manager pursuing her master's. Alexander was the guest speaker at last evening's public forum, which looked at varying issues relating to child sexual abuse. A native of Grenada who relocated to Trinidad as a result of the abuse, the now fully recovered Michelle says the existing support systems for abused teens needs serious restructuring. I think maybe they have counselors. I'm not saying no, but maybe it is only written. Because I cannot remember being counseled. I cannot remember being protected. And after leaving the um, home in Cedars, I was placed in an emergency shelter that was located in Mount Panassas at the time. And the staff there was not, they were not professionals. They reminded you of what it is you actually went through. They would say to you, oh, you, you is damaged goods, or you abused. They, they, they took the time to, to, to destroy you. They helped in the destruction process. And if that's the system, that we have to deal with these issues, I say it is failing. She says additionally, the legal system needs a complete overhaul, taking into consideration recent sexual-related charges. I, and I cannot understand why rape, why incest, why sexual abuse is, is, is a billable offense. You are telling, you are saying to our children or to society, speak out, stand up, speak out. What are we standing up against? Panelists included Dr. Pemba Braveboy, Nakisha Scantleberry, social worker at the Child Protection Authority, Brenda Baldio, guidance counselor for the District of St. John's, and Sergeant Glenn Charles, a police prosecutor. Let us all do our part. And I hope and pray that we never encounter this in our own homes, in our neighborhood, in our villages. It is your business to break the silence. Once the abuse occurs, the perpetrator will do all that he or she can to keep the victim silent and available for continued abuse. Now, any sexual act committed without the consent of a person amongst to an offense, any sexual act that is committed without the consent of a person amounts to an offense. The advocacy group Heal with Hope Foundation has as its vision to minimize the risk of child sexual abuse and maximize child safety. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.